Good day viewers. I'm gonna go check my camera this morning. My I'm gonna go check my cam take two. Good day viewers. I'm gonna look take three. Good day viewers. Walter here. I'm gonna go check my critter cameras this morning. And while we're at it, I'm gonna talk a little bit about a project I got in mind for my uh, Husqvarna in the lawn, zero turn lawnmower. I'll explain more on that in a minute. Let's go out there and change the cards in the camera first. I just got back from uh, Stananco, S T A N A N C O, Stan and Company, or some whatever it stands for. Here's what I went over there and bought. Two quarts of oil. It's always some Kawasaki oil. That must be some good oil with a name like that. Here's where I get my oil filters from anyway. I try to change my oil regularly on this machine as much as I use it. So I want to keep it in good working order. It needs to be cleaned up anyway. I'll go ahead and talk about my project first. Now what I want to do is put a like a little truck bed on the back of here. A little, if you picture a little miniature pickup truck. Now it won't be nothing complicated. It's just going to be probably made out of wood. I thought about using metal. But I got these brackets here where I can put a steel brace probably about that tall coming up here one coming up right over there to whatever height I need the box is going to be it's going to be like a wooden box probably two and a half feet wide that way and two or three feet this way and maybe six or eight inches deep like a little pickup truck bed and then when I want to carry my hand tools or bottle of weed killer or hammer and nails whatever little tools I want to carry with me I want to have to hold them in my lap and I'll make the brackets where they'll be permanent but the bed will just like have a bolt holding it on there and you can unbolt the bed and take it off anytime you need to work on the lawnmower but if I keep it raised up about yay high it shouldn't do any damage as far as stopping air from circulating around the engine Another thing I want to do this year, see that down here where my hand is, there's a rubber hose with a cap on the end of it down there. You got to take that cap off to change the oil. It ain't nearly as easy as you think it is because that cap is so tight. The hose is held down with a clamp behind it there. It just bends that clamp. So I'm going to make a stronger clamp to hold that hose. And I'd like to get it out a little further as well. So maybe I'll make a whole new bracket for it. So all i got to do is take a three-quarter inch wrench and pop that cap off and I can drain the oil. Right now it is off. You have to fight tooth and nails to get the cotton picking thing off of there. So this, I thought about putting a valve there, but there's too much chance it would get knocked open. And you'd lose your oil, that would ruin your engine. But I think just moving that hose out and clamping it better where you all you gotta need is a wrench. Make it far more simple to change the oil on this thing. Somebody asked me the other day where you change the oil on my tiller. It's like any bridge and stratton, there's a plug under there to get it out. It's not gonna be easy. Anyway, that's the project I got in mind. I'm definitely gonna work on it pretty soon. Maybe I'll draw up a picture of it. An imaginary picture about what it would look like. Let's go. Anyway, that's the project I got in mind. Any suggestions?
I think simply three brackets one coming up here one coming up here and back here in the back where these four holes are well, I can put two brackets there just come up and bend them back where they would bolt underneath the truck bed and I think if I took my time and did a neat job of it that would be downright cool original project speaking of projects y'all need to go over and check out old rusty glove box he's got a project going on there I think it's gonna be awesome too he took a alternator and turned it into a motor that you can control the speed on. He's making an electric mini bike. And if that little prog pro program works, I mean, if that little project works out for him, I think it's going to be awesome. You wouldn't necessarily have to use that motor for a mini bike. If you got an alternator, you can change into a battery operated motor variable speed there's a lot of things you could use that for I bet you can make one heck of a weed eater to stick off this lawnmower with one of them alternators probably weed eat a strip 10 foot wide out there in front of me let's go check uh anyway y'all go check out uh, rusty glove boxes video i'll put a link to it down in the description